Another comparison for you guys, because you asked for it, or I think you did. I think I heard somebody talking about it. It's the DeLonghi Magnifica S Cappuccino versus the Seiko Pico Baristo. Hey, it's Gail from Saddle Coffee Gear, and I'm gonna go over the features of these two machines because they are somewhat similar in price and features, but different. So I'm gonna go over the different features. Let's start with the Magnifica S. This right here, is the water tank comes right out of the front and that is two liters that's a pretty good size tank for a machine of this size up here 10 ounce bean hopper and seven grinder settings right there also you know this is easy to get out too you can clean it wipe it out with a paper towel also uh, your bypass doser for one scoop of pre-ground of something whatever your choice is if you don't like what's going on in the bean hopper you always can use that also this machine is a true one touch. You put your drink down here and if you push cappuccino, which by the way, you can program the uh, amount of milk and the coffee in the cup, it's automatically gonna put the milk and the coffee in your cup and you'll be done. And then it's gonna ask you to clean it. So you wanna do the clean cycle. Other than uh, the cappuccino, which I just pointed out, there is a short coffee, standard coffee, long, extra long. Those are all pre-programmed from the factory, so check the values in your manual and they'll tell you what the ounces are for those. Also, my coffee. This is the only one you can actually, as far as coffee goes, you can program that one to suit your needs. Ounces and temperature and all that. So you get into the menu and you can do that. You can also with this machine, if you wanna dispense hot water, just put this right on there. Let's get it in the right spot. Now you can do hot water right here. All right, so it's pretty um, straightforward. I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. Let me show you the dregs box while we got that. We already brewed a coffee. There's the dregs box and all this comes apart for cleaning. And also, one thing I did not show you, you can turn that little beep off if you don't like it. I kind of like it. Over here, when you have the water tank out, this is where the brew unit is located. And you wanna take the brew unit out once a week or so and rinse it with hot water. <clears throat> On the DeLonghi's, the machine has to be off to get that brew unit out. It goes into the right position where you can get it out. So that's something to think about. Plastic casing, not badly done though. It's nice plastic, it looks good. Cup warmer up here, which is very hot, and a digital readout right here. So, and then also on the any of these coffees, it's set at mild. If you want to change it, you can. So there's pre-ground, extra mild, mild, standard, strong, extra strong. Gives you a lot of options, and it's going to grind more beans to be brewed through. Is what that's doing when you take it from mild up to extra strong. All right, so on this carafe, you don't have a lot of uh, latitude. You only have the one type of foam it's gonna put out. You don't, on some of the other DeLonghi's, they have more options, but not on this one here. So that's the way that works. And this goes up and down to give you a little more down in your cup and your spouts go up and down as well. Let's move over to the Pico Baristo. All right. Um, the water tank on this one is right here, and this is a 1.6 liter. Now, I don't know if you're seeing that water filter in there. This is one of the things that makes this a little bit different than all the other machines. It has this Aqua Clean. This is a new filter from Seiko. It's a new technology. And if you use these filters properly, and I'll tell you about that in a second, you can go 5,000 cups without descaling. That's a long time. What you have to do within that 5,000 cups, you have to change this eight times, eight filters, and they're not real expensive as well. So it's not gonna break the bank. Uh, and so that sits right up in there. Bean hopper right here, uh, nine ounces of beans, and you have 10 settings uh, right here for the fineness of the grind. Bypass doser, same thing, one scoop down in there if you want something different in the evening. Looks wise, see the stainless? Stainless and plastic, it is a 
Uh, it's really a nice looking machine. I like it. And right here on the digital readout, you'll see that the machine will keep track of what stage that filter is at. Right now it's at 100%. It'll gradually go down until it tells you to replace it. And it's by how, how many cups go through it. This is a cappuccino tori, which comes with the machine just the way you see it. Goes down into the milk, sucks the milk up, puts it into the cup, and then you move the cup over here and choose the drink that you want. You have three different coffee settings right here, uh, coffee drinks that you can program the way you want. Temperature and the amount of liquid in the cup. And uh, also, here's your bean uh, for, you have uh, five different settings for how much is gonna get ground and down in the cup. And bypass doser, that's your pre-ground. And then mild, mild, very mild, mild, regular, strong, X are very strong, they call it. Also, here's your milk. Uh, if you want milk foamed, it's gonna suck it up, put it in the cup, turn it on. When you get what you want, this will light up over here. You just check that and it stops it, interrupts it. Also, uh, hot water, you can dispense hot water with this. So that's kind of nice. And then if you get into the special menu for drinks, this is the ristretto. Also, that you can program, and the double espresso. So if I push espresso over here or any one of these, it's going to double the amount, and you're going to see two cups show up on the screen. So that's kind of nice. Oh, here's the double espresso. And what it does is, I wasn't thinking about pushing it, but anyway, here we are. What it does is it will grind and brew twice, whatever you have. It says espresso double right there. It'll grind and brew twice. I'm going to interrupt it because you don't need to see that. Pre-infusion, wait time, and then brew. Pre-infusion, wait, and brew on this one as well. So you want that to stop? Boom. You see it's only halfway over. It's going to actually grind again. You get to hear the noise of it, too. Both of these are fairly quiet. The other thing with this is, before it starts brewing, if I have an extra tall, like a go cup, all I do is take this off. It'll come out of that one spout. This is just a diverter down into two spouts. All right. So I like that feature. I like the fact that this comes off. It gives you a really tall cup. All right, now that we've done that, let me show you where the dregs box is. Whoop, you have to push two little buttons on the side. It's right down here. There's the coffee, the two coffees, dregs box, drip tray, the whole deal. It all comes apart for cleaning. Also on this machine, the, uh, uh, the uh, brew unit, that's what I'm trying to say is right over here in the same fashion as that DeLonghi. It's on the side over here. It just comes right on out, so it just comes out. Yeah, and you can remove this at any time. You don't have to wait for the machine to be in the off position. But I will say, if you hear it cycling, don't open any doors, don't do anything until it's done cycling, because that's where people get brew units and all stuck in the machine. The machine won't recycle and keep on going. So that's a, just one little tip. Other thing about this machine is, if you don't like the milk that comes out of this cappuccino tori, take it off. You don't have to use it. You can go to our website and we have this Panarello, which I'm, I'm not gonna, ex I mean, you have to unscrew it to get it on. Push it up on there and then tighten it up. Now you've got a traditional Panarello that will give you a little bit different foam than the cappuccino tori. So that's kind of a nice feature. Let's see, what else can I tell you about this machine? I think that's basically it. So if you like the one touch and you like a lot of pre-programmed stuff from the factory, the cappuccino, Magnifica S cappuccino might be the machine for you. If you want more control over your foam and 
in some of these, I mean, you can program each one of these. That's a little more control as well, I would say, than the Pico Baristo. If you like stainless, Pico Baristo. If, you, if this, you know, is, suits your needs, Magnifica Cappuccino. That's what I say, and that's what I think. All right, let me show you. The only other thing I want to show you is the foam. And I want to show you the foam with this one, with the automatic system that comes with it. Where's the other piece? <laughs> Makes a difference if you don't have the right pieces, I can tell you that. And on this one, same thing. It's warming up. All these machines have to heat up a little when you're asking for milk. On this one, <clears throat> if you want hot water, uh, all you do is ask for the hot water and it's gonna come out of here. You don't have to change anything like on this one. And that's because this is uh, the milk system. The foam, very thin. Very thin. Uh, for some reason, there wasn't a lot of foam. On this one, you got some foam. Still not real rich, I would say. If you want to have really rich foam, this is the way to go. You'll get more foam than you know what to do with, and it'll be very dense. So. That's the Pico Barista from Seiko. Magnifica S Cappuccino from Longi. Check out the stats, the rest of the stats, and the individual crew reviews that we have on each one of these machines. Stats are on our webpage. YouTube videos, of course, that's how you found this, is because you're watching the video, and how did you find it? You subscribed, right? You didn't? Mm. Subscribe, please. Thanks a lot for watching.